Guess is best known for his role in Disney's hit series, Good Luck Charlie. Now you can catch him on the big screen in the all new installment of God's Not Dead. The God's Not Dead, A Light in the Darkness. Please welcome Shane Harper. He's joining us through Skype. What's up, Shane? What's happening? We're doing it. Look at this technology. It's amazing. Yeah, oh. it's, it's awesome. Awesome. Anyway, uh, it's a pleasure to meet you. This is your first time on our show. Uh, hopefully many more to come. So. Hopefully, hopefully. Ah. All right, so let's go ahead and get into the film. Uh, I got to screen it last night. It was a great movie. I really enjoyed it. You know, this is the third uh, film of the God Not of the God's Not Dead franchise. Um, so, kind of tell us a little bit about the story. You know, of course, Pastor Dave. You know, he doesn't want to give give up this church, uh, which you know it, it's very meaningful to him because his dad preached there, and you know now mm -hmm. he's preaching there, and it's on this campus of a university uh, college. So anyway, just kind of go ahead and explain a little bit more about the story. Yeah, so I mean, it really revolves around um, Pastor Dave, this story, like you said, and um, he, you know, his church is threatened and, and, and um, he uh, actually, well, threatened is, <laughs> it burns down. <laughs> um, oh, no. it, I, you, you see it in the, uh, you see it in the, in the trailer. I'm, I'm not giving it too much away. Mm -hmm. um, but he, his church burns down. He wants to, um, obviously, wants to um, rebuild it, and the university doesn't, um, doesn't want the church there. So right. they decide that they want to um, kick him out, and and he has to kind of figure out how to fight that. And like it's, it was very personal for him, obviously, because it's, it was his father's church. Um, and, you know, he's kind of trying to find his, you know, where it all fits in for him to kind of fight to, to, to keep this church or if he should even keep it at all or if he should move or, you know, how, how that all looks and being a pastor and being the kind of representative of, of, you know, the faith, you know, if you will, on that campus, you know, he kind of starts to unravel because he loses a friend um, in the process, um, a, a dear friend of his, a character that we know. And um, and he kind of just comes apart, and and so it's really a character story about about Dave's growth as a person, and um, and you know in in that kind of we explore these different um, characters on the college campus, um, as some really great new characters, um, you know, kind of you know struggling with what does the church represent, um, how does it fit into the world, and mm -hmm. and and you know it's almost kind of the youth. Kind of calling out the, the you know the hypocrisy or the issues in kind of the generation above, saying, well, you know, this doesn't seem like you're representing the heart of God when you're behaving like this, this, and this. And mm -hmm. I know you're trying to do your best, but there, there's just some really poignant key um, uh, moments in this script that really are so relevant to what we're dealing with today. I think not only in church culture but also just in culture in general. And so I, I'm really excited about it. I think it's very relevant. Mm -hmm. uh, and also, you know, from your character, Josh, we see that from your character, you're worried about Keaton, uh, right. you know, about her, you know, she's a, she seems a little lost with her faith with Jesus Christ. Yeah. Do you think a lot of people in the world today uh, are kind of lost on their faith in Jesus Christ, you know, with everything that's going on in the world today? Yeah, I, I, I really think so, and that's a great question because I think what Keaton represents in the story is what, I, sh I think she speaks very, very clearly and, and concisely for a lot of, um, you know, our generation, you know, mm -hmm. in regard to how we relate to the church. Um, and, you know, she's just trying to put the pieces together and say, well, I, I don't know how effective this Christianity thing is if it's if it can't even impact how you're dealing with this conflict or how you're treating this person, right? There's something lost on her in the process of, and also her kind of discovering, you know, is it okay to doubt? You know, is it okay to, to, to go through these really tough questions? And her, her storyline a little bit kind of mimics a bit of what Josh went through in the in the in the way in the way of doubting, mm -hmm. and not sure if it's okay to doubt, um, and uh, and I think that she is such a and Samantha Boscarino who plays Keaton does such a, a beautiful job with it because it feels so honest and compelling to me watching her kind of go through this stuff because it's just yeah. real you know it's just real. Mm -hmm. 
a part that I saw in the film that, you know, of course everyone's going to get to see this Friday when it opens in theaters, uh, is, you know, when you see the protesters in the film, you know, there's, it's like, the, it's a divided line on each side. You know, young people, they want the church to stay, and then there's people that don't want, they're like, no! You know? Yeah. Uh, so it made me, you know, it made me think of all the protests and marches we have going on in the world today, you know? I mean, I think that this film is perfect for it to come out, I think, during this time, because it kind of goes along with the things that are actually going on in the real world today. Uh, so, you know, do you think, Shane, audiences will be able to relate to the, you know, to the new installment of God's Not Dead uh, franchise? I think so. I, mean, I think it's a great point that you're making. There's, there's so much happening in the world today mm -hmm. that um, really kind of uh, comes through in this movie and in the narrative of the film. And, it, you know, it's all about kind of this divisiveness as everyone's yelling, no one's listening kind of thing that's happening. And... Um, and, and, and there's a lack of compassion on these issues and people are, 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 you know, socially and politically divided and no one's really, um, no one's being really that receptive to having a conversation. Mm -hmm. And so I think this movie represents the times that we're in and I think it also um, gives a different kind of solution um, or different kind of approach to conflict or dealing with conflict that we haven't really seen before. I think in the Gods of Dead movies it's all about you know, you stand up and you fight and you kind of do this thing. And I think sometimes as Christians, especially, we forget that, you know, we forget about emulating the heart of God and how can we best do that. And so in this movie, hopefully that kind of shines a light, no pun intended, on those issues and on the, the, um, the problems that we have uh, as a church community even, you know, and how people understand um, us and understand how we, um, you know, deal with issues and conflict. And hopefully it can be a very healing movie for a lot of people. Mm -hmm. I, I like it and you know I I wish that people in, in the world today would be like how it was kind of you know in the film I'm not going to give up you know I don't want to give anything away but you know yeah. how you know people come together and love one another and stop fighting over all this mumbo jumbo stuff yeah I anyway I love it I think it's great and I hope everyone will see it Friday and we're going to take a look at a clip and in this clip uh your character Josh is talking with Pastor Dave so let's take a look this is why I took on Professor Radisson, why I left law school for this ministry. Because what we do and how we do it, it's important, Dave. Josh, we have no money, no lawyers. If I could do something, I would. It's just, it's not that easy. No, it's not easy. That is simple. Look, I, uh, I hate to quote scripture to a pastor, but, um, you remember Luke 12, 48? Seems like you're the one much is being asked of this time. That was Shade in God's Not Dead, A Light in the Darkness. I hope you guys will check it out. It's going to be coming out in theaters on Friday. So be sure to be sure to be there right when it comes out. And, you know, take your family and go see it. It's going to be awesome. Uh, and you'll feel inspired, too. You'll feel a lot more holy. <laughs> you know what I mean? All right. Okay, Shay. Shay's like, oh, oh, oh. all right. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> very good. We're gonna talk about your, uh, you know, your EP. Well, it's already out right now. Um, uh, it's uh, your EP album, like I did. What was one particular song from your EP that really kind of stands out to you that you like out of all the others that are on the uh, that are on the album? You know, I really like the song, um, I really like See You Round. That song's a special yeah. song. I think it's really fun, and um, I really enjoy performing that live, and I love the process of writing. I just think it's special. Yeah. I like that one. That's probably my favorite. Yeah. But the, and thank you for the for the kind words. That means a lot. I'm putting out new music uh, in the next few months, so look out for it. Well, you're welcome. Yeah, that was going to be my next question, but look, you just answered. New music coming soon. I'm excited. <laughs> you know, you're, you're good at everything. You're, you're super talented in acting and music. Maybe you're gonna do Broadway next. Who knows? I would like to. That's actually on the bucket list. We'll see. Yeah, New York. Do a New York Broadway show. We'll we'll, we'll come watch you. <laughs> that's all I want. That's all I want to hear. That's all we want to hear. Yeah, we'll come. We're like, woo, Shane supporters. We'll. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Shay. Well, thank you so much. Uh, th this is going to be a great movie. Please go see it, everyone. God's Not Dead, A Light in the Darkness in theaters Friday. Thank you, Shane. Thank you very much. And you're welcome to come back anytime. Hey, I'll, I'll be back. I'll be back ASAP. <laughs> All right. Bye.